Hello guys, my name is Arman and in this video we are going to learn how to create a 3D panel in Rhino made of Voronoi cells. As you can see I have already opened the Grasshopper window and we are going to define our algorithm here to uh, reach out to this beautiful panel that you are seeing here. So I'm going to open up front view of uh, creating model in Rhino. So uh, the plane that we are looking at is XZ plane. So I'm going to double click in Grasshopper window and type XZ uh, and choose this XZ plane. Uh, as you can see it's showing us uh, its avatar here and uh, the next step would be double click here and type rectangle and click on this icon and connect the plane output of XZ uh, icon here to the input of plane uh, in rectangle panel. So the next uh, step will be defining the value of width and the height uh, of this rectangle. So double click here and type for example uh, 10 uh, double dot uh, 40 for example or 60 I, I don't know uh, and then connect this to X, Control C, Control V here, and another connection to this Y part. Uh, as you can see, we have it here, and you can change it. Uh, for example, I think 10 is enough for the X size. Uh, I'm going to uh, increase the number of Y size, for example, to 40. Uh, and after that, we are going to populate some. Uh, dots inside this rectangle as the center of uh, the cells of these Voronoi parts. So double click here and type uh, populate. Choose populate 2D and connect the rectangle uh, to this part as the region of the population of these dots. And, uh, oh sorry, uh, then you have to choose the number of these dots here as you can see it's too much I'm going to reduce it uh, for example type 10 double dot uh, 60 and then connect this to n uh, and you can increase the number of it for example like that and you can choose uh, the number of the seed uh, if you change it uh, the arrangement of these dots are going to be changed so uh, for example Two double dot six, and I'm going to connect these two seeds, and you can change it like that. Uh, and after that, mm, you should uh, actually create the Voronoi panel. So double click here, type Voronoi, and you will have uh, to define the point. So I'm going to connect this to the point. Uh, input of this uh, Voronoi and then double click here uh, oh sorry uh, mm, the next one will be connection of the boundary uh, of this population which is the rectangle that we have already created here so I'm going to double click here type relay choose this one it helps you to manage uh, the arrangement of this uh, kits in Rhino in Grasshopper so I'm going to connect this rectangle output to this relay and then connect it to boundary. So uh, the extended parts are trimmed and uh, the only thing that we are seeing here is these cells inside this uh, region. So the next step would be uh, actually increasing the um, radius of the cells. So the next step is to scale the radius of these cells. So I'm going to double click here, type scale and choose this icon. I'm going to connect the output of uh, Voronoi cells to the geometry here and then double click uh, type area which helps you to uh, have the centers and uh, the areas which we want the center part. So uh, I'm going to connect this to the center of this scale and for the factor for the factor part we are going to double click here and type for example 0 0.2 double dot to 1 and then I'm going to uh, connect it to the factor and then 
uh, as you can see I can uh, manage uh, the different radius of cells so I'm going to um, off turn off the preview of the Voronoi in the um, previous part so we have here and the next thing we are going to create is uh, the, uh, the rebuild part of these curves so I'm going to click here and then the co and, uh, connect the geometry part to uh, s uh, curves and I'm going to turn off the preview and the next part is to define the degree of each curve I'm going to type 2 double dot 4 um, and double click and type 2 double dot 5 for example uh, and connect it to the um, number of the control points you want to have on your curves so I can change it for example to 3 and change the control point and change the degrees to um, 3 or 2 I think 2 is enough uh, and we can increase the scale part I think I think this is okay so uh, we have the curves here um, I will choose all of the previous parts and right click here and preview of them uh, actually we, we want the rectangle part so that's it you have created the cells but it's uh, actually uh, 2d so we want to extrude this panel and make it like this part so in front view uh, I will type uh, boundary I will type boundary surface and choose this one um, connect the curves to extrude them uh, with boundary and then I'm going to create another relay and connect the rectangle to it and hold shift and connect it to extrude and right click here click on flatten and as you can see you have created this be careful about the number that you have for your scale factor because as you can see if I increase this as you can see if I increase this it will go out of the boundary so um, you can double click on factor and type for example to click on OK and you can uh, uh, you can decrease it to 0 0.66 OK and then I'm going to type extrude connect the, uh, the output of the boundary to extrusion type Y and the factor of extrusion will be for example uh, 2 dot dot 10 and then we connect it to the factor of uh, extrusion and as you can see it's too much uh, I can uh, reduce it so I'm going to put it on R for rounding and then the minimum of it would be for example 0 0.1 one okay and I'm going to reduce it for example like this and that's all we're done we have created our cell so easily so I'm going to right click on here click on bake I'm going to choose layer one and okay that's all we have created it so I hope you in, you have enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and we are going to have lots of uh, tutorials about Rhino, Grasshopper, um, how to create di diagrams in Rhino. So stay tuned with me. Till the next video. Goodbye.